What's up guys? KG, Rough To Be Buff TV. I wanna talk about measuring food. How I like to do this first and foremost is you're going to turn on your scale. What is an actual serving size, okay? So that's two tablespoons here, which comes out to 32 grams, okay? Now the fastest and easiest way to do this is to weigh the entire container by itself with the lid off. Make sure you take the lid off because that does add weight to the scale. So we'll turn on our scale. We'll make sure everything is kind of zeroed out here. Now we'll weigh the entire thing of peanut butter and that comes out to 189 grams. Go ahead and zero that out. Perfect. So you want to hit the tear button and zero it out because if I were to take this off, now it's going to give me a negative number. All we're doing is we are taking the tablespoon and we're gonna do 100 calories, 100 calories of peanut butter, which is 16 grams. So the number you see here should say negative 16. Now it may be obviously a little inaccurate when I first take it out, and that's why we can always just take it back in. So check this out, I'm gonna take the peanut butter out, let's see where we're at. So this is 22 grams of peanut butter. This is almost a full serving, remember, two tablespoons comes to 32 grams. So let's get an actual precise measurement to see exactly what 100 calories of peanut butter looks like. I'm gonna take some peanut butter, just shave it off the top. We're at 18, 19, boom. This is 100 calories of peanut butter. 100 calories of peanut butter. Does your serving size of peanut butter look like this? If we were to double that, let's say exactly what it is for uh, what an actual serving size is. Now we wanna see what? We wanna see that number double to 32. Let's see what an actual 32 grams, that's not even enough. We need about a little bit more here. Boom. This is a serving size 200 grams of peanut butter, okay? Now that's why it's important for you to log your food because if you're going over just a couple hundred calories on your peanut butter, a couple hundred calories on your potatoes, a couple hundred calories, calories on your almonds, that's going to put you either in a huge surplus and help you stay where you're at or maybe potentially gain weight because the whole idea is getting yourself into a deficit when we want some body fat and body weight loss. So this is 200 calories of peanut butter. Let's move on to the next food here and then we'll eat about 80 calories. So. That's our peanut butter, okay, peanut butter's done. We'll put this empty scale on here, which comes to 33 grams. We just gotta tear it out, press it. That will zero out the scale. The next thing we're gonna do is one of the most commonly eaten diet foods. I got a bunch of peanut butter in my mouth. We got some broccoli here. This is a lot of broccoli. So we're gonna measure it in grams. We're gonna keep it in grams. I'm just gonna plop it in here. And then you're gonna see that number jump up. What do I got there, babe? 152. 152 grams. So then you're probably asking yourself, how many calories are 152 grams of broccoli? I got this amazing thing, it's called a cell phone, and you can basically log and find anything on the World Wide Web. That's what we use to go on our social media, scroll and basically do all those mind-numbing activities. This is not gonna be mind-numbing. What was the number, babe? 152. Which app are you using? This is my fitness pal. You can use Spark People, any food app. They're gonna have thousands of foods in there. You can log them. And it's really simple. Like, look, it's got all these different like units of measurement. I'm just gonna go to one gram. Pick that guy. What was the number again, love? 152. 152 grams of broccoli. Comes out to how many calories? 52 calories. 10 grams of carbohydrates, barely any fat, and then 4.3 grams of protein. So a lot of times what people will do is they eat really, really low calorie food. And they were eating lots of calories before that and their calories are so far into a deficit, they're like, dude, I start eating like really healthy and I feel good, I swear I'm eating broccoli and chicken. You're only having 50 calories. You're literally potentially starving yourself and not giving your body everything it needs in order for it to be in a, in a state of growth. Too heavy dieting can be too much of a stress and that's what you don't want. 52 calories of broccoli. So we'll do this, kind of do the same thing. So now we have 
breakfast steak. I love steak and eggs for breakfast. It gets my protein up immediately and it's satiating and I just love steak. Let's take a look at every piece of steak. I'll probably have to wash my hands after this. One little piece of steak. What do we got there? 66 grams. 66 grams. So let's do this. Let's change the unit of measurement to ounces because a lot of times we measure things in ounces when it comes to our meat. So that's two ounces, which not too many people eat two ounces at a time. What do we got now, love? 4.4. 4.4. 6.1. Which is kind of like a normal serving size of protein. And let's just do all four. Eight ounces. So let's just do this. Since it's eight ounces, we'll do two servings of four. Two times four is eight. Now we have 360 calories, zero grams of carbohydrate, we have 18 grams of fat, and 48 grams of protein. This is why it's super important for you to understand or have some rough idea of what your macronutrient intake is. This meal, if I were to pair that steak with this broccoli, is gonna come out to a little over 400 calories, probably 50 something grams of protein, and the fat and the carbohydrate would go up just a little bit because this is very low uh, calorically, like non-dense food, okay? So, and after a while, the whole idea of you measuring and logging your food, to be able to have the power and the knowledge when you look at a plate of food, you can guesstimate. So we're gonna zero out the scale one more time. Baby, do you love french fries? I love potatoes in all forms. In all forms. Cheesy potatoes, french fried potatoes, skinny fried potatoes, baked potatoes. Smashed potatoes. Smashed potatoes, hot potatoes, Mr. Potato Head. These are all good things in potato derivative, okay? This is a big potato. This is a big potato. If you were to go to Northwoods, Clearman's and go get this, this is probably the size of the potato that you would get. So let's measure this in grams. Grams, boom. Let's set the raw potato down. Another thing. Another thing, I didn't talk about this. Should you measure your food raw or cooked? The nutrition labels are based on raw food. Measure them raw, okay? What number do we got there, love? We have 539 grams so, of potato. Same exact thing as before. We're gonna switch it over to grams. One gram. So we're just gonna type in 539 as far as the servings, because we're gonna do 539 times one. Save. This potato is 401 calories. So now let's start doing the math here. We have the flank steak, we have a broccoli, and then we have a potato. Within right here, we have an 800 calorie meal. Mind you, we have not added sour cream. We have not added delicious cheese, chives, bacon bits, and butter. So this baked potato can very, very easily end up being 700, 800 calories with your steak dinner, this could be a 1200 calorie meal. Not necessarily a bad thing, but if you're not monitoring what's going in beforehand, you could see how you could very, very quickly put yourself into a surplus and maintain exactly right where you're at or even worse off. What are the macronutrients on that potato? The macronutrients on the potato is 94 grams of carbohydrate, zero grams of fat and 10 grams of protein. Who knew that potatoes had so much protein, right? Usually they're just, demonized that they're just a lot of carbohydrate, but there is some protein in your vegetables, okay? Moving on. So what's another nut that everybody loves to snack on? Balls. <laughs> Almonds. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Almonds. 100 calories or 98 calories in almonds comes out to roughly half an ounce. Let me show you what half an ounce of almonds looks like, okay? So thank goodness we have these shaved almonds. Boom. This is 100 calories of almonds, okay? Let me put that in my hand for scale. 100 calories of almonds. Okay, there you go, yeah, just spread it out. That's 100 calories of almonds right there, guys. Next thing, oatmeal. Now we're gonna take this huge thing of oatmeal, we're gonna set it on the scale. What do we gotta do, babe? Oh, Are you going to grams? What do we gotta do first? Remember, look, we almost oh. made the mistake. We got almost made the mistake. You gotta take the lid off. This counts as weight. Now go ahead, let's zero this out. 
Now, one serving size here is a half cup dry or 40 grams. So we should see, is it on grams? Mm -hmm. So we should see a minus 40 here. 39. Boom, got 40. it. 40. This is a serving size of oatmeal. So we'll put it in a bowl for scale. Obviously that's going to expand with water. Serving size of oatmeal. So there you guys have it. Logging your food is an extremely powerful tool. One, to know exactly how many calories you're taking in, your proteins, your carbs, your fat. I know, I know it may seem super tedious, but if you're very serious about your weight loss journey or putting on muscle or reducing body fat, this is part of the sacrifice you guys have to make in order for you to see the results that you wanna see. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm KG, this is Rough To Be Buff TV. I'll see you guys next time, peace.